Hey everybody, Blue on Gold Z, and today's video is basically about the two main ways that you can reload a pistol, a semi-auto pistol, after your first magazine has gone dry. So just as a quick introduction, I'm just going to show you very quickly what the uh, two methods are, and then we'll go into details on the pros and cons and which method I feel is, is better. And also discounting some of the things that a lot of the instructors are saying, which I have a little bit of a bone to pick with some of them, not that any of them know me, but um, also this video has to do with some of the absolutism, or what I call absolutism, in regards to the recharging or reloading of semi-auto pistol and how many of them will say that one method is like, you should never do it, it's completely wrong, um, you should avoid it at all costs, and you should do this method instead. I have an issue with that, and this is also what the video is about, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So the first method, really quick, <clears throat> is called the slide stop release method. It's probably the most common method. This gun is empty. Um, there's an empty magazine in here. That's why it loaded to the rear. As you can see, there's nothing in the chamber, and there's there's nothing in the mag. So you shoot your gun, bang, 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 bang. Uh, slide locks to the rear because the magazine is empty. You take out the old magazine. You insert a new magazine here. I'm using snap caps. You hit the slide release, and you're back on target, and you shoot. Second method um, is as follows. And just inject the old round out. Um, you're shooting your gun, bang, 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 bang. Slide locks to the rear. Again, your magazine is 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 empty. Um, you take the old old empty magazine out. You get the new magazine, the fresh magazine. This again, we're using snap caps. Instead of using the slide stop release button, which I just did earlier, you insert the magazine. You put your hand over the top of the slide. Make sure that your your hand is not covering the ejection port. You grip the back of the slide. You pull it forward and then just let it go and bring your hand back around and put it into the position ready to fire and prosecute your target, shoot the target and you're off to the races. So let's go into the pros and cons of um, each method and why I feel that one way is actually very very relevant and um, in, in most situations is actually the best. Okay, so this is the pros section of the um, slide stop release method. Again, that is the method where after your gun goes empty and you have an empty magazine, you use a slide stop release where you put your thumb up against the button and you pull down after you've loaded a magazine and basically you just ram a new round home and you're off to the races. Um, just to put in a nutshell and keep this section very, very short and concise, is that for a lot of guns, especially very modern, um, you know, semi-autos, uh, the slide stop release is extremely quick, extremely efficient, it's basically idiot-proof, and it's faster, it upsets the gun less, and as far as the positioning of the hands, you are able to have your hands in a position to get you back on target quicker and and I'll show you in a second right now so let's say um, round you know the the, uh, the the last round has has flown out you've gone dry again you take the magazine out you get your new magazine and you reinsert what I want people to realize when you're using the slide stop method is that you are literally doing I guess you could say two things at the same time, and that's why I talk about efficiency and speed. First and foremost, look at where your support hand is. This is the hand that just put in the uh, the fresh magazine. It's at the bottom of the gun. It's at the bottom of the magma. What does that mean? That means that compared to the overhand release method, where you're bringing your your hand, I guess you could say around the world, you're bringing it from the south pole to the north pole. Your gun, I mean, your your support hand is already where it needs to be. Secondly, your your firing hand is also where it needs to be, naturally, and your thumb is also where it needs to be in order to do the action to get the gun back up and running. So, if your support hand is here, and in a final situation, you want it like this, it's faster. It's overall, it's quicker, and literally, it's you're doing two things at the same time. So. We'll we'll do it in, in a in a real world you know real world speed right now. So gun goes dry, magazine old magazine falls out, new magazine falls in, and it's literally just it's quicker. And again, with a lot of modern semi-auto pistols, the 
the recoil spring um, in these things, they're they're very strong. They're very they're very powerful. So they they maintain a lot of energy in being able to you know ram home ram home the the final round. So overall, this method is it's quicker, it's more efficient. Um, your hands are not moving as much. You don't necessarily have to bring the gun in closer to do the same maneuvers. Your hands overall don't need to travel back in a further distance. Your support arm doesn't need to travel back out into a further distance because of the, you know, the the uh, the overhand method. Basically, everything is just more. Again, I, I keep saying it. I, I probably sound like a broken record. It is more natural. It is more efficient. It's more intuitive. It's quicker. And many people can actually do this as opposed to, you know, the, the overhand method. Many people can actually do this while still looking at the target, which is a very, very important factor in a self-defense situation. And the last thing I want to say is that the reason why people can also do this while looking at the, same, at, the, at the target as opposed to, you know, doing all this motion and looking at the gun and everything is because the slide stop release, for the most part, at least for me with this gun, because it can, it can vary, the location can vary, and I'll get to that later. The thing is, what people like James Yeager and, and other people say against the slide stop release when they say that um, under stress, your you know your fine motor skills are going to be turned into crap. What makes you think that you can find this button? Well, in regards to me, and in regards to this gun and other guns where the slide stop is is relatively close to the thumb, the slide stop is not moving. It's not moving in different locations all over the gun. The slide stop stays in one location. And furthermore, you have a point of reference. That point of reference is the slide of the gun. It's not like the slide of the gun is, is not there when you're doing a reload and there's a possibility for your thumb to go up and over and past it or underneath it or in front of it or behind it. it there's nowhere else for your thumb to go. Your reference point is this gigantic piece of steel. It is very easy, and I, I mean, I, I really haven't been in a stressful self-defense situation, but I would gather that it is very easy for me to find this button. One, because it's my gun. I mean, that's a little bit of a, a, an unfair advantage in regards to this, you know, comparison. But one, because it's my gun. But two, it doesn't move anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. And I'm using this huge chunk of steel as a reference point to find, I mean, in the dark, I can do this. Anybody can do this in the dark. I mean, there it is. That's all there is to it. And then, like I said, furthermore, your support hand is already down here. It's already, it, it, instead of coming back over, you're just wrapping, push out, and fire. So those are the overall reasons why the slide stop release method, um, or, or those are the pros, and we'll get into the cons right now. Okay, so this is the con section um, of the slide stop release method. So again, um, it's not perfect, but overall it is, I, in, in my opinion, the best. But here are some of the cons. Um, it does not work necessarily on all guns. And when I say that, it's because uh, some guns, the slide stop release lever is located, you know, further down or further up. or And, and for people that may not have you know, the longest thumbs, such as myself, we may not be able to reach the slide stop um, lever. Um, case in point, I'm in the market for a 1911. Uh, a few months ago before I moved to Texas, I was at a gun store and I was looking at some 1911s. And, you know, I was going through the manual of arms, to, you know, because that's very important to see what, what you can do with a gun to see if it's, it's, it's appropriate for you. And I noticed that on the 1911s, the slide stop release here, um, here on the XD, it's pretty far back. And that's where it should be. I don't know why the the uh, the gentleman that created the 1911 put the slide stop release so far forward, but I couldn't reach it with my thumb. So initially, I thought that maybe the 1911 isn't for me, but I did realize that I could buy a 1911, and even though if I couldn't reach the slide stop release, I could at least use you know the overhand method, and we'll get to that later as to one of the benefits of the overhand method. But I later talked to one of my coworkers who's a lot more familiar with the 1911 than I am, and he says that there are manufacturers out there that actually create extended levers for people like me that can use or that have shorter thumbs so that that goes to show you why why would this not the this lever not just be used for holding the slide back but also for releasing when manufacturers do actually make extended slide releases it's also because they're used for reloading it is not just used for keeping the slide back 
um, for, for cleaning purposes or maintenance pur purposes or taking down purposes. Uh, but overall, that is one of the weaknesses of the slide stop method is it is not necessarily universal to all semi-auto um, you know, pistols because of the physical location of the button or some of the, the physical differences between people. They may not be able to use it. So that's one of the cons against using the slide stop release method. Um, another con is uh, gloves. Um, I mean, if you some for, for whatever reason you're using gloves um, that somehow decrease the amount of friction that you have, you may not be able to possibly feel the slide stop release or even if you did, for some reason, it might you might slip and it just it just doesn't catch it doesn't it doesn't release. So if you're using gloves, using the slide stop release method, um, it, it may be disadvantageous to you. Um, the other two reasons are somewhat minor. I've I've heard this from some uh, you know gun store employees where there's a possibility that the slide as it locks to the rear um, can actually when you do the slide stop release method after you hit the button because there's so much tension on the spring. As, a, as this lever actually goes down a little bit, um, the slide will actually catch it and it could actually graze it and it might actually start to wear down part of the lever. And to a certain extent that gentleman is right because I'm not sure if you can I'm not sure if you can see it, but you could probably see like a little speck of, of silver right there um, where because I do use the slide stop method release the most and from probably from I don't know how many reloads I've done, but over the course of time, after I hit that lever and the slide moves forward, it, it grazes the lever, but there is no metallic damage, um, probably because it's, it's hardened steel. Um, the only thing that's missing is just a little bit of paint. And this gun is, I got this gun, I think, back in like 2002, I believe. So um, the, that gentleman may have had a gun where it was made for, from softer metals, perhaps, um, or per maybe he had a plastic slide release lever, I don't know, um, but I do advise people to check their guns to see if there's any kind of damage. Now, one way to avoid that is he was talking about the power stroke method, and again, this is more of a pro, I'll get to that later, but if you see here, what I'll do is wa watch this lever. When you do the power stroke method, you'll see the lever actually drop, see, and then you let it go. So we'll, we'll try that one more time, just just to make it thorough, the lever is, is up, it's holding the slide back, there's a lot of spring tension that wants to drive the slide forward, and we'll, we'll let it drop, see how it, the lever dropped. So that's what he was talking about, and that's why he was an ad, this particular gentleman was an advocate of the um, overhand power stroke method. Um, and that leads to my final point as to why some people believe um, that the uh, slide release is uh, one of the cons is that um, you're not fully using 100% of the, the guide rod spring's strength. Um, because if you are actually pulling it all the way back, you're using 100%. If you're only letting this, the... Um, if you're only letting the slide come back this far and then you just hit the slide release, you're using less strength of the guide rod to ram the round home. I don't really think that's a big deal, but I did think I would mention it in the con section. I would say that, you know, if you're if you're pulling back and you're using the power stroke method, yeah, you are using one one hundred percent of the guide rod spring up at the front here to drive the slide forward. But I would say that if you're just using the slide stop release method as opposed to one hundred percent, you're probably using ninety eight percent. It's not that big of a deal. And the way that a lot of modern pistols are, especially like heavy-duty pistols such as Glocks and XDs and you know MMPs and so on and so forth their guide rod springs are incredibly strong they're designed to just push through anything so um, but overall it is I guess you could still say a con that you're not using 100 percent of the spring strength when you're using the slide stop release method alright let's get to the pros of the overhand power stroke method Okay, so as for the um, pros reason as to why the power stroke method of reloading a firearm, um, a semi-auto after it's run dry, um, probably the biggest reason that it's a pro, and I, I do think this is a very good reason, is that it's universal for all semi-auto pistols. Um, I, I'm pretty sure there may be some crazy novelty firearms out there that may be or may have an exception, but 
pretty much all semi-auto pistols, whether they're 1911s or Lugers to XDs to cars, whatever, whatever you want to call them, they all have a slide stop that will typically, and I say typically because sometimes there are mal malfunctions where the slide, when, when the gun goes empty, it doesn't always lock to the rear. But basically, this, this methodology um, will allow you to recharge and reload any semi-auto pistol you know, using the power stroke method. Um, so if you're in a situation where, I don't know, you're in a gunfight and, you know, aliens and, you know, Obama change zombies are, are invading your, your city and there's um, dead bodies from some of your comrades all over the street and you run dry on one weapon and instead of reloading or whatever and you pick up another weapon, um, using the, the power slide, uh, the power stroke method, you would be able to get basically any semi-auto pistol up and running. Um, as I said in the previous section, you might waste time um, picking up, for instance, for me, if I picked up a 1911 and I put a new mag in and I, I tried to search for the, um, the, the slide lock release button, I wouldn't be able to find it on a 1911 and I'd be wasting perhaps one or two precious seconds to realize that I can't reach it, I can't do that, and I need to do the power stroke method. So the power stroke method is universal and um, you know it's 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 a good thing. It is beneficial. Um, the other reason is that the power stroke method is is beneficial to use. It is true that if you do use that method, it is in a way you are practicing on how to clear a malfunction. Pistols pretty much semi-auto pistols pretty much all operate along the same manner. And if you were to use that methodology to reloading, you're also developing uh, muscle memory and an overall training memory on how to clear malfunctions as well because if there's a double feed for whatever reason you do the same exact thing you you know drop the magazine um, you know rack 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 you know um, insert the new magazine rack again as you can see here this is a there's a snap caps in here and it's loaded and, you know the gun fires um, same thing with like uh, you know tap rack bang if there's another malfunction I think it's uh, malfunctions one type one and type two. It's the same thing. It's you know tap again power stroke rack and bang. So those are the two pro reasons as to why the power stroke method to reload is 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 good. It's not bad. It's it's good. Is is it's universal against with all the guns that you, with all the semi autos that you can find pretty much. Um, and it also helps to develop muscle memory and, and overall training memory for helping to clear uh, malfunctions. Um, you may remember in the previous uh, cons for the slide stop releases that um, depending on the, the material that the slide stop is used, um, using the power stroking method allows the slide stop to actually be dropped before the slide rams home. So that means that there is there will be less wear and tear on the slide stop lever. Um, but for my gun, at least, uh, Springfield XD, it's inconsequential. There is no metallic damage. Um, the, only, the only thing that's missing is just a minuscule amount of paint. Um, but it does goes to show you that there is a little bit of wear from doing the slide stop release method that the overhand power method, power stroke method, will alleviate and, and not cause. Um, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, I mean, the other thing, too, which is very, very subjective, is is the following and let me just reload real quick um, when you use when you use the power stroke method I'm, I'm not gonna lie it makes you feel like a badass I mean when when you are reloading I mean uh, at the range or, or if you're practicing or, or whatever um, the the efficiency and speed of, of the um, of the slide release method it, it's very it's very you know it's not very um, apparent uh, you just simply just hit with your thumb and the slide goes forward and and you prosecute your target. But if you are if you are um, using the power stroke method, I mean it, it feels it makes you feel like a badass. It, it's basically akin to uh, using a pump action shotgun, you know, racking racking in a new shell um, using using the forearm. It's the same thing with a pistol. And if you want to impress people who knows maybe you're you brought a girl on a date and you want to kind of wow her with all this motion um i mean it's basically you know but you know it makes you feel like a badass you, you, gun goes dry take out the new magazine take out the old magazine put in a new one and then 
it makes it makes it look cool. It makes it makes you feel cool. Again, that's a subjective thing, but I thought that I would put that in the pro section because I don't think anybody has ever really mentioned that in a YouTube video. It it feels cool. It feels good. It looks good. Um, so those are the pros. All right. This is the what I think is the juiciest tidbit of of the video. And it is the con section of why I believe that the overhand, you know, power stroking method to reload a pistol is not really the best and not really the most practical and in certain situations may be even detrimental to your health due to the biggest reason that I believe that it is um, not as, as good as the slide stop release method and that is because of speed. And I will demonstrate here right now. So. As I mentioned before, using the uh, slide stop release method, you know, the gun goes dry and you take out the old magazine, you put in the new magazine, again, your your hand is already at the bottom of the gun. I mean, when you're shooting a pistol, and you, especially if you're going for accuracy, you're going to use two hands, and the proper way and the best way is for the hand to go back around and wrap around your, your firing hand around the grip, you know, and you prosecute, you know, you prosecute the target, you get a good solid grip. Um, in order to hit the target. So using the slide stop release method, your hand is already here at the bottom and you've already, you, chances are you've probably already hit the release button as you are actually pushing out. So you're doing two to three things at the same time. This is what I have against the overhand power stroke method is, as I mentioned before, using the overhand power stroke method, once you've seated a magazine, what I call, I guess you could say, the south pole of this world, Let's say this is the world. This is the South Pole. You've inserted the South Pole. Now your hand is traveling all the way back to the North Pole of the gun. And typically, because this method requires you to kind of cock your arm and bring it back towards what some people call the, you know, the workspace, um, you're creating more distance that you have to push back out forward. So again, you know, you see to the magazine at the South Pole, now your hand is going all the way to the top of the North Pole, and now you're gonna, you know, re-rack the slide, okay? Chances are your, your, your arm is gonna be back here, your, your arm here is still bent. You still have to bring your hand all the way back around and under the gun, where it was before when you first loaded the magazine. And then because of the nature of doing all of this, because your firing arm is further back, you have to push all the way back out forward, bring your hand back underneath, get a good grip, and then shoot, um, and then shoot the gun. So all of this stuff basically just means it's slower and it's more inefficient. And I just really hate it when people say that you shouldn't be using the slide stop release method and that you need to be doing this power stroking method. Um, the other thing that a lot of people, the other thing that a lot of people don't consider is that you are physically upsetting the gun as far as helping to maintain something that's supposed to be smooth and efficient to help you get back on target. Um, there's, there is a possibility that while you're under stressful conditions, and actually this is another part of the cons, um, I mean, you know, you, you've loaded the magazine um, and, you know, you've loaded the magazine in. I mean, who knows, in a stressful situation, you may actually, you know, bump you may actually bump the slide. You, uh, this, there's only a possibility you may knock it out of your hands. But in the best situation, your the gun is moving all over the place as you're doing these these manipulations. I mean, obviously this is this is needed in both situations where you need to seat the magazine. But you're you know you're rotating, you're bringing your hand over, you're you're pulling back, which causes the gun obviously to you know move back and forth. Then you have to push back out forward. You have to bring your hand around. You have to make sure that you clear the gun and you, you get your hand back into position and then you push back out forward. All this stuff, all this manipulation, all it's doing is just creating a bunch of unnecessary movement and upsetting the way that the gun needs to be pointing, which if you're using the uh, slide release method, it's just simple and back out. That's it. So it's it's slower. It upsets the balance of the gun more. Your your limbs and your hands are moving all over the place, which will bring me to my next uh, my next point, which is which is a lot of people say that if if you're in a really stressful situation, 
your gross motor skills are going to go flying out the window, which I guess is true for the most part. I've heard some people say that trying to find a slide stop release is not a fine motor skill. Okay, In my opinion, if you're under a stressful situation, um, if you can't hit the slide release button, what makes you think you're going to be able to do you know, all of this? Um, you know, furthermore, you might be using your support hand to brace yourself up against an object. Let's say that somebody starts shooting in a parking lot somewhere. You know, there's an active shooter somewhere. You bring out your gun. You're engaging. Let's say it turns out to be a gun battle. I know as crazy as it sounds. You might be using your, your support hand to put yourself up against a car as you brace yourself for cover or you you know it could be it could be anything that you're trying to brace yourself up against for cover you could be crawling you, your support hand could be on the pavement somewhere you need to have it in your mindset to to basically just use your free hand um, so overall the, the 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 power stroke method while it is um, effective and I'm not saying that you should discount it it's it's slower it's more inefficient it again it upsets the movement of the gun it's supposed to be nice clean and straight and back on target and it's just an overall waste of, of energy and time because again my biggest gripe with it is that you know your your hands are already in the you know in the perfect position to get back into the fight after a reload by using the slide stop the idea that after you insert the magazine and then you bring the hand back over to recharge again that you know there's there's you know movement in the gun by doing that um, and then you have to your, your, your support hand is going to be all the way back here and then you have to bring it all the way back around you know after you've loaded I did the, I did the slide stop release but um, to bring it all the way back around and push back out it's just a waste of movement it's just a waste of energy it's a waste of time and in a situation where you may need, I don't know, half a second, a second, it may make a difference, it's much better to overall do the slide stop release if your gun permits it. So I will close by saying this. Unlike some of the other instructors out there that are saying, only do the power stroke method. It's the only way to go. Do not do the slide release method. I encourage people out there to, to do both methods. Some people will say, oh, well, what about the, um, you know, the malfunction training do that separately you know malfunction train separately do the tap rack bang separately um, as far as the reloading is concerned if your gun is is one of those guns like mine where the slide release is nice and strong there's no damage being done by the slide on the lever um, you know the, the the guide rod is is good to go and 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 whatnot and, and it'll it'll take charge and just ram home any round that you put in there Continue to use the slide release method. I will say this. If you look at, you know, IPSC shooters, IDPA shooters, I'm pretty sure there are some exceptions. But, what, I mean, even in the, um, I believe, the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit, they don't use the power slide release method when they're in competition. Um, or at least the private citizens in the IDPA competitions and the IPSC competitions, they don't waste time bringing their hand over the slide to, um, to recharge and to continue their, their course of fire. They hit the slide release method because everything can, there's literally two to three things being done at the same time as opposed to, you know, and, and upsetting the balance of the gun and taking all the time. So what I advise is for people to try both methods, okay? and see which one works best for you. I would bet money that a great majority of people will find that it is completely unnecessary to do the power stroke method and that the slide release method is, you know, works fine for them. Thanks for everybody for watching. Blue One Gold Z signing out.